everyone, and welcome to Yummy Cooking with Patience. Today I'm making spaghetti squash with seared scallops. And what's great about the spaghetti squash is that it's fall and winter season, and it's also football season. This is gonna be a low carb dish. And before we get started with this, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Go ahead and chop that baby right in half. When I buy a spaghetti squash, I like to buy a medium yellow color, not too light and not too dark. Now you wanna scoop out all the seeds and reserve them to the side. And what I like to do is I like to roast them later and eat them as a midnight snack. So now I'm gonna mix up our garlic cloves. The reason why I'm mincing it up is because I want smaller pieces on top of our spaghetti squash. And it's gonna have a nice aroma. I love garlic, one of my favorites. All right, chop this baby up. I've also turned my oven on, so it's already preheating at 350 degrees. I'm gonna chop up our tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. I like them because they're small and they have a nice juicy texture. And we're gonna put this at the end of our finished dish. Chop it in half, so it's a nice small bite size. You don't want too big of tomato pieces in your mouth. You want it nice and small. All right, now I'm gonna make some sauce, sauce. So I'm gonna have the olive oil, minced garlic, salt and pepper, and mix it all well. Then I'm gonna brush it all over our spaghetti squash. And make sure you use a generously large amount of the olive oil on your spaghetti squash because you don't want it to get dried up. So now I have a flat baking sheet. I'm going to put our spaghetti squash upside down, or bottom down. Now it's time to bake these guys. Oven's already hot and ready. Place our spaghetti squash inside. We're gonna cook this for 30 minutes. Our spaghetti squash is finished. Bubbling hot. I'm gonna check if it's ready. So I'm gonna pierce it with my knife and see how soft it is. And it looks like our spaghetti squash is ready. What I'm going to do is leave it here to cool and then I'm going to work on searing up our scallops. All right, turn your pan on to medium high heat. Make sure it's hot and then add your olive oil. So I'm adding about a teaspoon. Then go ahead and start placing your scallops. You can hear that sizzle. Look at that. Oh wow. Listen. Love that sound. That's when you know you're right on track. So I'm gonna cook it for three minutes on each side. And whoa, when I flip it over, look at that. Oh my goodness, it has that crispy top texture and that's what you want. You like it crispy, at least I do. Next, I'm gonna add a little butter. This is gonna give a little buttery, rich flavor to our scallop. Then, it's time for the butter bath. So, I'm gonna just, just wash it with butter. Look at that. Pour it all over the scallops while they're finally cooking towards the end of its time. Then top it with a little salt and pepper and you're done. All right, 
go ahead and flip those spaghetti squashes over. Wow, look, it's still hot and steamy. So be careful. What I'm gonna do is pull the squash from the outer towards the end. So from the outside, you wanna pull it towards the end using a fork. It's kinda like rake. You wanna act like you're like raking leaves. Now that we removed our spaghetti squash into our bowl, I'm gonna try to see if it needs any seasoning. I'm gonna try a little bit. It needs a little bit more salt and pepper. Uh, to your personal preference. I'm gonna add some salt. And some pepper. Now I'm gonna plate this up. Okay, our spaghetti squash with seared scallops are ready. Let's dig in. Ooh, looks so pretty. The colors, look at that. Wow, kinda looks like real spaghetti. <laughs> Let's try it out. Hmm. Can I say delicious? You have the nice lightness texture of the spaghetti squash with the seared scallops. I mean, when you eat regular spaghetti, it, you feel heavy. This one, you don't have to feel guilty about. Go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.